Hey guys, Billy Funk here, your Extreme Networker. I thought I would take the time really quickly to talk to you today about what is the difference between the invite and the presentation and why you should never put the two together. You know, in the beginning of my network marketing career, I thought I had it down. I thought I would do it my own way and be successful. And I didn't realize that there was an entire system in place that was there for a reason. So, I, you know, I've got a background in sales and marketing and business. And when I first came into network marketing, I called up some guys that I mentored and trained in sales and invited them over to my house. I invited them and then I presented to them. I went through the entire process of showing them the company, breaking down the comp plan to them, and telling them how awesome they were going to be at it. And you know what they said to me? These are guys that I mentored, by the way. They, they said, let me know how it goes. Thanks, but no thanks. Let, you know, tell us about it after you're, you're successful. And I, I scratched my head going, what are you talking about? You're, you're going to be awesome at this. I didn't realize that the second that you open your mouth about an opportunity and have that conversation, you're actually teaching your people exactly what they should do. Because however you get somebody excited and they come into your business, they've got a high tendency to look back at exactly what you did and think that they have to do it the same way. And so my guys weren't telling me that, you know, no uh, to the opportunity. They were telling me no to what I did to them. They were telling me, no, Billy, I don't want to go out there, invite people to my house, and present to them and recruit them. That's not fun to everybody. That's not how a business is built. And so I learned after that, after I failed again and again and again, that that was not the right way to invite somebody and present to somebody the business. I also learned that even if you're the presenter at a small local meeting, you still can't be the inviter. I thought that I would separate the two. I started my own meeting, and half the room was filled up by my team and their people. The other half of the room was filled up by me. I would invite people to a Thursday meeting on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then I would present the entire room. And what's funny is the half the room that I didn't invite, you know, a lot of them got started with the business, but the half the room that I invited, hardly any of them did. It's because they still looked at me and said, Billy, I can't do what you just did, and I don't want to do what you just did. So I thought in my head, if I separate the two, if I invite people one day and present to them the next day, you know, uh, I could be successful. I didn't realize, guys, that the invite and the presentation are like matter and antimatter. If you know what matter and antimatter are in physics, you know that if they ever touch, they annihilate each other, they explode. And so the invite and the presentation has to come from two different sources. And those sources can be videos, they can be a three-way call, they can be a webinar, they can be a meeting. If you're going to go out there and invite people to take a look at your business, you have to use a third party to validate that source. It's a four-step system. It's called Approach, Expose, Validate, and Close. Where Approach and Expose is your invite and Validate and Close is your presentation. They have to come from two different parties. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So when you're out there you're pro and when you're prospecting people, remember that not knowing all the information is actually a very good thing. Ignorance is, is bliss if you use it properly because you have the opportunity to say to somebody, that's a great question. You know what? I don't have that answer, honestly. I can tell you this. It's working for me without knowing that answer. Hold on. Let me get the guy on who does. And your job is to invite people, expose people to pique their interest and then to actually direct them to the source. Be the messenger and not the message, and you're gonna have a lot of success. Invite people to take a look, and then direct them to the next, to the next event. Direct them to a, a, an expert. Direct them to a webinar. Direct them to a conference call. Expose them as many times as possible, realizing that it takes on average five exposures for anybody to make a buying decision. And so your job is to invite people to take a look and not present to people. If you're already the presenter, well then you should have people inviting to you. You should have invite, your prospects should be invited by your people and you should be the one presenting to them. So it's, it's a lesson that I learned the hard way, but I'm gonna tell you what guys, if you go out there and you take the invite and you master it, if you become a master inviter and you've got somebody inside your organization that's a great presenter, you guys can make a great team. I tell anybody out there that's that's a great connector, you need to find a great closer. And if you're a great closer, you need to find a great connector. It's the same thing with the invite and presentation. If you're a great inviter, you need to find a great presenter. And if you're a great presenter, you need to find great invitees and inviters. So that's your lesson of the day, uh, five minutes long. 
I hope you guys took it and learned from it because I know that it helped me a lot when I figured it all out. Don't miss, don't t don't mash the two together. Just learn one at a time. Learn how to invite properly. Learn how to expose properly, and you're gonna have a lot of success. So until next time, this is Billy Funk, your extreme networker, asking you, what are your passions? Go out there and find them, guys, and uh, believe in them, and go beyond belief and know them, and go get them.